Come Monday, Frank LaRose will be the only statewide elected Republican from Northeast Ohio when he takes over as Secretary of State. It's a job that comes with challenges, responsibilities, and a year from now, a lot of attention. It's the eyes of the world will be on Ohio in 2020. Inside the state office building in Akron, where Frank LaRose will take the oath of office this weekend, we talk about the run up to 2020, a job that is part election cop. We have to be on our game every day. The, the bad guys only have to be right once. And part reassure that whatever the outcome is, it was arrived at in a fair manner in the face of what will likely be noise from some to the contrary. The reason why that is damaging is that it corrodes the trust that people have in, in their form of elections. We run good, secure elections in Ohio. We'll continue to do that. Uh, all Ohioans should be confident uh, that when their vote is cast, that that vote matters. The office of Rose will assume found itself in front of the U.S. Supreme Court last year when the way the state purges voters for inactivity after a certain number of years was challenged. Though the high court upheld the practice, Rose believes it may be worth revisiting. It's a little bit antiquated. Uh, I don't fault the, the, the current secretary or past secretaries for carrying that process out. It's what is laid out in the law, uh, but I think we can do something better. Uh, I think that we can um, move to a more automated process of voter registration that keeps people's information up to date. The Rose says the key to having voter turnout like we saw last November is having competitive elections, something he's pushed for and will be a part of when it comes to redrawing the legislative districts in 2021. John Kasich, News 5.